Hello everyone, uh, yeah, today's video is um, after my last video, someone posted a comment and they wanted me to analyse the verse in the Bible, Ezekiel 23 verse 14 to 21, which is about two adult sisters. But as much as me, so I'm going to read that verse, the verses now, and then I'm going to tell you how I analyse it. So here it is, Ezekiel 20, 23 verse 14 to 21. But she carried her prostitution still further. She saw men portrayed on the wall figures, chandeliers portrayed in red, with belts around their waists and flowing turbans on their heads. All of them looked like Babylonian chariot officers, natives of Chaldea. As soon as she saw them, she lusted after them and sent messengers to them in Chaldea. Then the Babylonians came to her, to the bed of love, and then they defiled her. After she had been defiled by them, she turned away from them in disgust. When she came on and pushed openly and exposed her nakedness, I turned away from her in disgust. Just as I turned away from her sister, it became more and more promiscuous as she recalled the days of her youth, when she was a prostitute needed. There she lusted after those whose genitals were like those of donkeys and whose emission was like, those, those, like that of horses. She had gone through the looms of your youth, when in Egypt your bosom was caressed and your young breasts fondled. So that's basically about prostitution. And prostitution apparently is sin, because then it, it was sin in the Bible and it's still probably a sin today if you. Oh, me. Now, the two sisters were named Ohala and Ohala. And basically, Ohala was talked about in chapter 23, verses 1 to 9. Uh, but then, uh, after 11 to the other verses, it talks about Ohala. Now, this, if you think about the Era of Kings, Israel, they split up into the northern tribes and the the single, like, one and a half tribes in the era of kings. The, they went through into it because um, oh, that represents the northern tribes, like Samaria, Samaria and Israel. Basically, they gained into, they went into, like, they gained into idolatry and then they worshipped false gods. Now, that was the bad thing. That's sin. They were worshipping something that does not exist. And basically, that's what happened. And then, after many warnings from the leader, they were taken to Etzar in Assyria. The Assyrians basically kidnapped them and drove them out of their city. So they basically were taken to Etzar, where they were just awaiting an Assyrian army that could come and kill them. Then, when the Lord turned away from the northern tribes, he turned to the um, other tribe of Israel that was still there, which was Jerusalem and Judea, which is represented by Ohilva, the other sister in the in this uh book in this uh passage. Um They saw what happened to Samaria, so they knew what happened to the northern tribes and what happened to them. But went to the same sins and um I don't know if you remember uh do you know about the Babylonian exile? The the Babylonian army Nebuchadnezzar had a Babylonian army and he took the king, them in exile because they did the same sins that they would seen them happen. They did the same thing and they fell into these sins and then the Lord turned away from them and they were cast into Babylon, Babylon and waiting in Nebuchadnezzar and his Babylonian army who might come and kill them. So all of Israel was punished for forsaking God and the thing is, if you forsake God, you will be punished. Now this verse is basically saying that if you fall into sins and worship false gods and still do not repent of them, God will turn away from you and you will be cast out and you will not have your place in heaven. The verse is basically saying, repent of your sins. If you see sins which have bad consequences, do not follow them and only worship the one true Lord, the Almighty Father, the free and one, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The Father does it work through the Son, the Son does it work through the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit does it work through God's people. That's a good line that I've read from the book Christ and His People. One of the first convictions. And that's that verse. Now, I hope that helped. If it, if it didn't, let me um, take another look at it and I'll do, uh, try and get more out of it. But that's what I've got. Uh, also, someone asked me to do then my view on atheists. Now, atheists, yes, I'm not saying much about them, but 
Well, if you're an atheist, is they, they can't be nice people. I'm pretty sure I'm friends with some atheists. And now, I'm not here to convert. If people want to believe and want to know stuff, fair enough, but... Atheists, yes, they, they can be... They are, they are different atheists. Like, they're very nice people, but... Just, uh, think, if you're a horror atheist and you see some Christians praying, if they're not making you do it, then... Just, just don't say anything. If, if they're trying to make you do it, then it's a different matter, but... If you're a horror atheist and you see Christians praying in, like, a restaurant or something, and you're having a meal and they're praying to God for them or saying grace, if they're not making you do it, just... Just leave it. It's, it's not that they're trying to make you do it. They're not making you do it. It's fine. So if you see it, they're nice people. Just they can be nice people. And they can be arrogant. They can be annoying. But yeah, if you see, I can be. There, there are some nice atheists out there. I'm friends with some of them. So yeah, if you want to be an atheist, fair enough. That's your religion. You can believe what you want. We're all free to our own beliefs. But atheists, yeah, they can be very nice people. They sometimes, if they're hard atheists, I've never met one. It's hardened really and or say anything, but yeah, it's, it's fine. You can believe what you believe. Just if you're an atheist and you happen to meet a Christian who's praying, if not making you do it, just don't say anything. Just, just have your own religion. Just if you want to try say anything, then they, they may listen because I've listened to what they say, but my beliefs are the same. So if you're an atheist, yeah, I. I don't really think much bad, I don't think you're bad, I think you just, you like to believe what you want, that's fair enough, I'm allowed, you're allowed to believe that, it's your entitled to it. And yeah, you can, you are very nice people sometimes, sometimes there may be atheists that aren't nice, but I have to admit, you one of them. So yeah, atheists can be nice people, just don't try and impose your beliefs, because it's, it's not nice, I didn't have like, the be posed on me, I had the choice, and I chose the choice. You've had your choice, you believe what you want, it's fair. That's all I can say about atheists, because I, I don't really know much about them. So, yeah. I'll see you in next week's video. Good.